Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to our spring 2021 awards and graduation ceremony. Uh, so I seem to recall doing this from my living room one year ago, give or take a few days. Didn't think I would be doing it a second time. Uh, and yet here we are. But uh, we're glad that we could be together today, even though it's a, a virtual togetherness. So Thanks very much to the students and their families who have come. We have approximately 80 undergraduate majors and four graduate students graduating uh, this semester. So it's really wonderful to take some time to recognize their accomplishments. Um, uh, oh, sorry, I'm trying to advance the slide and it's not cooperating. There we go, okay. So we'll start with some awards, go through the graduate program, the undergraduate program, and then uh, just end with some announcements. So first faculty and staff awards. Uh, our staff award this year, well-deserved goes to Rebecca Sims. So Rebecca Sims is our graduate program coordinator and she's finishing up, yay, uh, her second year with us, right? It seems like she's been here forever. So the nominators stressed her ability to really work for the grad students, work for and with the grad students and, and help them out in a very compassionate and, and flexible way. She, she never loses her cool. Um, she's always kind and, and very professional, extremely high performance. Thank you, Rebecca. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, sure. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, this recognition, it feels absolutely great. Um, and I think as a staff member, just in general, um, a lot of our most valuable skills aren't necessarily visible, you know, so um, we're kind of putting out administrative fires every single day of the week. And if you didn't know something went wrong, um, the geography staff did their jobs. <laughs> so um, this year was extremely difficult, but I don't think that I would be able to feasibly accept this award if I didn't also recognize the amazing team of geography staff that I work with. And especially this year, um, it's very much appreciated and I, it's a pleasure to work with some of the most dedicated and hardworking individuals that I've personally ever met in my professional life. So thanks to the rest of the geography staff, you guys are awesome. And I really appreciate um, the department nominating me for this award this year. All right, that's wonderful, Rebecca, well-deserved. Faculty awards this year, so some notable, uh, honors and recognition that our, our esteemed faculty have received. First, uh, Professor Zheng Yu Liu was elected to the American Association for the Advancement of Science Fellows. Uh, Professor Elizabeth Root won the University Outreach and Engagement uh, Community Engaged Scholar Award uh, for her work on the opioid crisis here in Ohio. And then particularly working with the Ohio Department of Health in the States COVID-19 response. Uh, and then finally, Professor Kendra McSweeney, she just received the Distinguished University Scholar Award, which is the second highest research award that this university bestows. Uh, at the same time, she won two awards, one from the National Geographic Society and one from the American Association of Geographers. So um, all around really highly decorated faculty, well-deserved. And then finally in the faculty list, Jay Hobgood is retiring. Um, and here's a nice little uh, hurricane picture to, to celebrate all of his great work. Um, 
So he has been with the university since 1987. I'm not gonna do math in my head of how many years that is, 40, 44 years, I don't know. Uh, anyway, Jay uh, has been working at the committee for Committee on Academic Misconduct the last two years. And so he couldn't be here today because he said that Friday afternoon um, before graduation is a very busy day at the Committee of Academic Misconduct. So um, we're sorry he couldn't be here, but we will um, celebrate him properly in the fall. So Jay, Jay is, is really beloved by students in the Atmospheric Sciences program. Okay, now on to the awards from our graduate program. And to present them, Ning Xuan Xiao, who is the Chair of Graduate Studies. So Ning Xuan, are you able to connect? I'm not sure if Ning Xuan is able to connect. Okay, he's here, but I don't, it doesn't look like he's, he may not have a good connection. Uh, so our graduate awards, first we have the Fenber Travel Scholarship, which is an $800 scholarship to offset the cost of travel associated with professional development. And our two winners this year are Katie Krupala and Rebecca Chapman, both PhD students in geography. Uh, and then secondly, we have the Rayner Scholarship named after former chair, right, John Rayner. This is a $3,500 scholarship to support field work. And that goes to Alejandro Andonegi and Forrest Chesso. So congratulations to you four. Oh, and Alejandro is a master's student and Forrest Chesso is a PhD candidate in geography. Uh, next, we have the Lakshmanan Chatterjee Fellowship, which is an award intended to benefit a PhD student either from the Global South or carrying out research on the Global South. So Anissa Klein is the well-deserved recipient of this award this year to facilitate her dissertation research project looking at uh, Mexican farm workers in Ohio. Uh, and she just passed candidacy, this, I think this last week or week before. Uh, and then finally, the Willard and Ruby S. Miller Fellowship. This is, again, the most prestigious uh, fellowship that we give out in this department to recognize potential to make a major contribution to geography or its subfields, particularly through, through scholarship and scholarly writing. So, so um, high quality scientific publications right, are um, necessary to get this award. And so the two wonderful recipients we have, well, Ji Ying Li is a PhD candidate in atmospheric science and she's currently a presidential fellow and then Cheng Fei Hei is an honorable mention. He already won this award, but uh, has done so much in the PhD program that we're gonna mention him a second time. So congratulations to these really highly productive students who are well poised to make major contributions to the discipline. And then finally, we're offering the inaugural Thomas Fellowship um, this year, this is a one semester award. It's a fellowship funding that's given to a PhD candidate in their final year of the geography program to recognize excellence and service to the community. And this first recipient is Emilio Mateo, again, a PhD candidate in geography. Emilio has six publications, I believe, but also notably, he has served as an officer in the Professional Society of the American Geophysical Union. Uh, the last several years, and in this past year has been the president, elected president of the Geography Graduate Organization. So congratulations, Emilio. This will fund a, a writing semester for him. So our graduates, uh, now we're starting into the graduates of the, um, the graduate program. We have Chung Fei He, PhD graduate. His research area is paleoclimate. Uh, next. Ariel Rawson just defended last week, I believe, uh, in the area of political ecology, black feminism, Anthropocene, post-genomics and scale. J. 
Jenny McGibbon, a PhD graduate in geography, her research area, consent, the sex industry, the anti-trafficking movement, material feminism and critical theory. Congratulations, Jenny. And from the master's program, John Temin. Uh, we're sorry to see him go. John Temin was growing sweet potato seeds in the basement of Derby Hall, even throughout COVID. So Polynesia, climate, GIS, simulation, and modeling. Congratulations to all of these graduates of our graduate programs. Now the undergrad program. So presenting on behalf of the undergrad program is Nancy Etlinger, the chair of undergrad studies. Okay, hi, hi everybody. It's a great pleasure to wind up a very long year with awards of excellence for an outstanding group of undergraduate students. All recipients of these well-earned awards have received a cash prize of $1,000. The first award today is the Huntington. The Huntington Award is for outstanding undergraduates in uh, human geography, which encompasses um, our environment and society major, as well as our major in urban, regional, and global studies. This award was created with funds from the Charles Clifford Huntington Memorial Fund, established with a gift from Helen Hughes Huntington in the memory of her husband, Professor, um, Professor and Department Chair Charles Clifford Huntington. A brief bit of history about both Professor Huntington and our department. Just about 100 years ago in 1922, the Department of uh, Economics and Sociology at OSU was divided into several departments, one of which was the Department of Economic and Social Geography, headed by Charles Huntington. We continued to teach a course called Economic and Social Geography, the original namesake of geography at OSU, which um, the, which uh, Professor Huntington chaired. The Huntington Award honors outstanding human geography students for their achievement in the classroom and in significant research service or leadership. We have one Huntington Award this year and it's awarded to Alexander Dyer. So congratulations to Alexander. Uh, we normally would have lots of uh, lively applause, uh, but um, in the absence of that, I will just say congratulations. Um, the next award is the Fenber. The Fenber Scholarship honors women and undergraduate, and excuse me, and underrepresented uh, groups. This scholarship, first awarded in 2012, was established with funds from the Herbert and Dorothy Joseph Fenber Scholarship Endowment Fund for Geography. The Fenber Fund supports underrepresented students with a special focus on recognizing academic excellence and professional development. We have two Fenber Awards this year, which goes to Derek Martin and My Michael Posey. Congratulations to Derek and Michael. The next award is the Lewis uh, Family Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 2018 with gifts from Brian W. Lewis, uh, who received his BA in 1976, and Sherry Lynn Lewis. Their gift provides merit-based scholarships to high-performing undergraduate students in GIS and cartography. This year, we have four awardees. Uh, they are Adele Conklin, Rishwan Ding, Grace Perry, and Luke Young. Congratulations. Okay. Um, our Robinson Award is for Outstanding Undergraduates in GIS Science. This award was established with funds from the Arthur H. Robinson Fund established in 1985. Professor Robinson received his PhD from Ohio State in 1947 and went on to have a distinguished career at the University of Wisconsin. The Robinson Award honors outstanding GIS students for their achievements in the classroom as well as in significant research service or leadership. We have three Robinson Awards this year. They go to Taylor Wilson, Sophie Gallucci, and Kim Arasmith. Congratulations. The Sharp Award is for outstanding undergraduates in air transportation. This scholarship is provided with funds from the Gary L. Sharp Scholarship Fund in Geography, 
established in 2010. Gary L. Sharp was a graduate of Ohio State and earned his BA in 1970. His scholarship provides generous funds for undergraduate students from Ohio majoring in geography. Students are chosen for this award based on their excellence in the classroom. This year, this year we have five Sharp awardees. They are Jason Hines, Isaac Pacheco, Gabriela Menkhaus, Maddie Gwynn, and Sam McLaughlin. Congratulations. Last is the TAFE Award for Outstanding Undergraduates in Atmospheric Science and Climate and Physical Geography. This award was instituted with funds from the Edward J. or Ned TAFE Memorial Fund in Geography, established in 2003. Professor TAFE was chair of our department from 1962 to 1974, and he was president of the Association of American Geographers uh, from 1971 to 72. The TAFE Award honors outstanding atmospheric science students for their achievements in the classroom as well as in significant research, service, or leadership. And this year we have three TAFE awardees. They are Laurel Bayless, Eddie Wolf, and Emily Lill. Congratulations to, uh, to all. Yeah, and thank you, Nancy, very much to, to these wonderful award winners. Um, and we also want to recognize Laurel Bayless placed third in a university-wide competition of undergraduate research, the Denman, in the Environmental and Climate Sciences Division. So uh, really outstanding research. Uh, congratulations, Laurel, and congratulations to, to all of our undergraduates in the research projects. Okay, so now we'll go through the graduates uh, of our majors and programs. So as you can see, we have five majors and, and several programs within them. So the social sciences air transportation graduates this semester, Spencer Berg, Jeremy Bridges, Josh Connison, Nyla Dorsey, Jacques Gauthier, Defar Gobena, Brendan Hammond, Alexander Henson, William Kirk, Jinyu Liu, Keith Marion, Stephanie Miller, Christian Nestingen, Joel Salinas, and Francis Sherba. Congratulations, graduates. We have two uh, graduates from our physical geography and our climate studies programs, the Laurel Bayless with a BS in physical geography and Ethan Heron with a BS in climate studies. Uh, to human geography majors, in urban regional global studies and environmental, sorry, environment and society, we have Colin Bittinger, Rachel Bruneau, Ross Hyman, and then Christopher Martinez and Sydney Smith. So congratulations to, to you five. In atmospheric sciences, we have a nice cohort graduating this spring. Kayla Bagley, Jacqueline Beck, who's continuing on in our master's program, Patrick Bosher, Christopher Dickman, Kelly Grice, Alexis Hyman, Hunter Hoffman, Austin Austin Kingsley, <clears throat> Christopher Kirk, Cameron Close, Emily Lill, Desiree Meadows, Gabriella Mankhouse, Olivia Myers, Connor Prince, Benjamin Salopek, Charles Sattler, Stephen Shrimp, Tevian Whitehurst, and, and Eddie Wolf. So congratulations, graduates. And then finally, geographic information, not finally, but, and next, geographic information science. We have Alexander Abood, Benjamin Althaus, Dylan Anderson, Briston Bader, Thomas Balio Rodriguez, Tanya Bills, Evan Birdsall, Cole DiLorenzo, Shi Guan Ding, Christian Dombuya, William Eads, Nolan Giltz, Madison Gwynn, I think I saw some Gwynn family members on here. Brittany Harder, Caleb Hobart, Marion Common, Thomas Kugler, Graham Kowalski, Caleb Martin, 
Samuel McLaughlin, Victor Micus, Michael Mott, Pramananda Naidu, Daniel Oaks, Monel Patel, Tyler Payne, Grace Perry, Samuel Reed, Shuhua Shen, Eric Scherer, Zhe Shi, Joshua Smock, Ryan Verhoff, Luke Young, and Matthew Zenko. Congratulations, graduates. And our spatial analysis major, Henry Lent, Landon Monter, Richard Nayarko, Zachary Phillips, Jacob Recker, Alexander Schneider, Diana Sumano, Jake Weiner, and Yu Chang Kai. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to everyone. Now, uh, I hope you don't mind. I want to ask Kendra McSweeney to come back out here. I missed her the first time around. She, she popped on right after I announced Rebecca's award. And so I wanted to go back to Rebecca Sims winning the staff award. So sorry about that, Kendra, and take it away, please. Oh no, I, well, thank you. I, I appreciate it. And since we're going out on a high note here, uh, I, it was my pleasure to uh, oversee the process by which we selected the uh, department, someone for the department's annual staff award, which is intended to recognize demonstrated excellence in overall job performance above and beyond one's prescribed duties. And this comes with a thousand dollar honorarium and many, Many faculty this year told us that it was impossible to choose because so many uh, of all the staff did such a wonderful job competently and with very good humor rising to the many challenges presented by the pandemic. So while it was a really tough decision to make, we had a, um, quite compelling nominations for one staff member in particular. Uh, and the nominators wrote that this person has done things beyond some things that have never been done before, but hold critical value to the department mission. This person has been a strong advocate for students from underrepresented minority groups. She's an active member of the anti-racism committee where she's been making valuable contributions in terms of the future plan and, and the committee's activities. She's volunteered to work with minority students to hear their voices and channel those voices to the committee and to the graduate studies committee. Another nominee wrote, in what has been a particularly challenging year for graduate students, this nominee has done a truly remarkable job of working with them, serving their needs with flexibility and grace. And I know many of them deeply appreciate her support. She's also been extremely creative this recruiting season despite limited options and resources. And so if you have not already guessed, it is my great pleasure to reinforce that Rebecca Sims is the winner of this year's uh, Departmental Staff Award. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you, thank you, Kendra. And I'm sorry I missed you the first time around. Do you want to do you want to say anything again, Rebecca? Um, just thanks, everyone. What a weird year, am I right? <laughs> yes, very very strange year. So, so to everyone present, we're really glad we made it through this year. We're very proud of our of our majors and our graduate students. And it's very hard to be separated where we can't see you in person. And these these. Uh, virtual events are truly an imperfect substitute, but but we want you to know that we consider you forever part of uh, uh, the OSU geography department. We hope you'll keep in touch, come back and visit us. Uh, parents, you are essential. Your 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 students would not be here without your love and support. And so, thank you very much. Uh, I wish everyone a safe and healthy summer. And I hope we will be back physically in Derby Hall, right, uh, starting next next fall. So, so once again, thanks thanks to the staff, to the faculty, to the graduate and undergraduate students for making this the best year that it could have been under the circumstances. And thank you for coming. <laughs>